Hi, I'm Declan, and I'm going to be explaining soldering. So why do we solder? One of the biggest reasons we'd be soldering is to make an extension wire. For example, if we need to connect a motor to the electrical board when they're in very different places on the robot, we're going to need to extend the wire in between. And we might need to do that with sensors, the battery, a lot of things on the robot. And so the materials you're going to need for soldering are wire strippers, two wires you're planning on soldering together, helping hands, which are used to hold the wires in place while you're soldering, a soldering iron, solder, and uh, a solder remover. I, in this case, I'm using a copper solder wick. And so first you want to strip both wires. Happen to know this is a 20 gauge wire. And then you want to twist the copper together. You can put in the helping hands. Take out your solder and soldering iron and apply solder. And you want to apply solder to all sides of the wire to get a good connection. And that soldering. That shouldn't be sticking out like that, but. Now, normally you'd cover it with electrical tape or maybe heat shrink if it were bigger, but I don't have that right now. It's basically just tape, and I think there's gonna be another video on heat shrink maybe, so you don't really need to have that demonstrated. And then, if you need to remove solder, for example, if you do a bad soldering job, then one way is to use a copper wick like I have. The other is called a solder sucker, and it's basically just like a little machine that you squeeze and it sucks up the solder, which is a little bit easier, but I don't have that here. So how you use copper wick is you just place it in between the soldering iron and the solder, and Use the soldering iron to put on heat, and it sucks the solder off of the wire onto the copper. And especially with the copper wick, it might take a while, but eventually it'll suck all the solder off. And you can see on there, one second, my phone would focus. You can see a little bit of silver on there, which is the solder. Yeah. 
And another thing is safety with soldering. So after you're soldering, you don't want to touch the wire because it's normally still pretty hot. Also, don't touch the actual, any of the metal parts of the soldering iron. And that's especially for when you are putting away the soldering iron. It could still be hot even if you hadn't soldered like incredibly recently. It could take maybe a minute to cool down, I don't know. So you wanna be careful with that. Um, another issue is uh, the smoke. You won't have to worry about that if you're soldering in school because there's a ventilation system. But if you're ever soldering anywhere else for any reason, keep in mind that there are two different types of solder, um, leaded solder and unleaded. And you want to have at least some sort of ventilation system when you're soldering, just because the solder gas isn't incredibly good for you. And I think those are the main safety concerns with soldering. When you put a soldering iron down, you want to put it back in a holder like I have here. You don't want to leave it on like a table or anything, especially if it's still plugged in because it could burn the table. And I think that is most of the safety concerns. Okay, bye.